Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the pipe command in Rhino. And the pipe command is useful. Instead of creating individual sillers, the pipe command is actually registering a curve and turning it into sort of a cylinder. So for example, if we were to use the polyline command and pretend like we were going to draw a fence line, um, we drew the fence line in plan view. We know that maybe this is the corner of the property and we want to build this in 3D. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the polyline and now I'm in front view, so I'm going to copy this um, fence line up 36 inches. And I'm going to use the polyline command also to just draw maybe a picket. Uh, like this is an ornamental fence. This will just be one of the pickets, and this will be 42 inches high. We have the um, top rail, and maybe this one just comes up uh, like 6 inches. You can use the gumball to bring that up. And I'm going to use the command array curve, and this picket is going to go around the corner and start the fence posts. So I'm going to select the curve, select the path at which it's going to be on. Um, the distance, I could either select the items or the distance. So I'm going to select distance, and I don't know what the code is, maybe off the top of my head, but maybe 12 inches. So there is um, our rough outline of our fence. It, right now it's just based off of curves, but if you want it to be um, obviously in 3D and assign material to it, it's going to need some sort of thickness. So we can highlight, so now that the 2D is done, we can select all of the curves and type in pipe. And right now it's saying the pipe radius is one. Um, I'm in inches, so this would be one inch. I could keep it one inch. You could turn it to whatever you want. Um, and if I press enter, you'll see here that um, I now have the cylinder with a, uh, based off of a curve without recreating all of these individually. Um, so like I said, when you're looking at a landscape or anything outside, question what, what would be the sequence that you would create that in Rhino and when you start thinking like that in the field, um, you're going to learn how to pick up Rhino and develop 3D models much faster.